The deal to raise Salt Lake City's sales tax to help house the new NHL team and to revitalize downtown is moving fast. The sentiment expressed by some city residents at last night's city council meeting is that it's moving too fast. New specialist Lindsay Ertz has been talking to lawmakers who crafted the plan to explain why they wanted a September 1st contract deadline. Lindsay? Well, Jeannie, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, the Utah State Tax Commission needs 90 days to be able to get all their ducks in a row so they can implement the tax come the first of next year if it gets approved. But as I spoke with Representative John Hawkins today, he said another reason because they knew how quickly the NHL team would be coming here. We had a feeling that we would have a hockey team by next season. Lawmakers are defending a quick timeline for Salt Lake City and Smith Entertainment Group to have some major downtown details hammered out. It wasn't any signal to really anybody about a hockey team per se. It was, let's get moving on revitalizing downtown. Representative John Hawkins helped usher in the bill that requires by September 1st, SEG and Salt Lake City need to work out details like how much of the tax money will pay for the arena rebuild versus go to other areas of the downtown zone. I am opposed to this added sales tax for a project that is not fully realized for the citizens. I have not seen more than the broad picture. At a public hearing last night, residents expressing frustration at what they say is a rushed timeline and lack of transparency from Smith's team. It's Hawkins really defending the new hockey owners as well. Going. And I think they're taking their time working with the city and the county to put that together. I'm sure that they're going to be transparent with the plan, but we need to give them some time to put it together. Meanwhile, over 30 stakeholders coming out today in support of revitalizing downtown plans. Everyone from the Senate president to the Downtown Alliance and even pro golfer Tony Finau. Hawkins hopes people will understand that the tax that's being raised impacts anyone who eats and shops in Salt Lake City as much as it does the residents who live there. And it's up to the city council to decide whether to raise it. And so I think that's the biggest misperception, in my opinion, out there that the state did this. And the state's just pushing this down on, on the city. Now, the Smith Entertainment Group has also set up a website to keep residents informed. We'll have that linked for you at KSLTV.com. Also, residents will get another chance to weigh in on all of these plans. The Salt Lake City Council going to hold another public comment meeting. The date for that just hasn't been finalized yet. Reporting in downtown for KSL 5 News, I'm Lindsay Ertz. I'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks for keeping us up to date on all this, Lindsay. Turn